Hello, today I want to talk to you about if you are a Jamaican living abroad and want to send your kids to Jamaica to a boarding school in Jamaica. Now to begin with I want to give one um, disclosure, one disclaimer rather. Uh, this is not intended, I am not intending on uh, being someone who knows what's best for your kids um, or uh, determine what course of action is best uh, for your kids uh, as, a, as a matter of choice for learning. But I want to tell you, for those of you who uh, perhaps have grown up in Jamaica and understand the, the level of education you've gotten, and you now live abroad and you see what your kids are getting and you think there is a, a, a shortfall and you want to actually um, give them the best chance, I am giving you a couple of options um, for what I think uh, I, being someone who's been an educator also for many years, um, who have taught advanced students and have taught regular students, um, I'm just giving you my view on a couple of uh, schools in Jamaica, boarding schools and perhaps private schools that I think are um, a very good option uh, for you uh, should you choose that route. Okay. Um, as an educator, uh, any educator in the the, um, the the educational system in a country, let's say for example uh, the United States, um, will see uh, that their kids sometimes are, are children that they don't recognize because um, they have uh, taken a totally different path from what you seem to have remembered as education. For one, many times children uh, in the United States, for example, doesn't even realize that they are actually students. They're more concerned with uh, uh, their rights uh, to privacy uh, or uh, their student rights more so than they are interested in actually learning. Um, there are many, I uh, could argue, that um, there are some that are overly concerned about the length of their skirts, for example, than uh, learning or um, uh, about uh, wearing or not wearing uniform, uh, why should they wear uniform, then they are actually about learning. So I just want to give you a quick little, um, a few options if you wanted to look at uh, boarding schools uh, in Jamaica. Alright, um, to begin, um, Knox College. Uh, Knox College, uh, which is a high school in Spalding, Clarendon, uh, provides a, a wonderful opportunity for um, sending your kids if you're living abroad and you wanted to send your kids uh, to a boarding facility in Jamaica. They've been around for many, many years. Uh, all six schools that I'll tell you about, they're not the only boarding schools, but they're the ones that I know that are very efficient and have, uh, have been around for, um, for a while. Um, okay, so Knox College in uh, Spalding, Clarendon would be one. Hampton uh, School for Girls, uh, which is in Malvern, St. Elizabeth. All right, that's been uh, around since the 1800s. Uh, okay, and they've been uh, they're a single-sex school, all all girls school, a uh, school that has uh, graduated many many um, uh, high-performing people in our society, lawyers, doctors, uh, so forth. Uh, another one uh, which is Malvern. Malvern is, uh, I'm sorry, Monroe College for Boys. Uh, Monroe uh, is like the um, the counterpart for Hampton. Uh, it's also in St. Elizabeth and and that has been around even uh, a little longer than uh, Hampton School for Girls. All right. um, another one is St. Hilda's, St. Hilda's in Brownstone, St. Anne. St. Hilda's is uh, a very very excellent boarding school. Uh, I think it's run by Catholics. Yes, it is by Catholics um, and has been around for a long time too with a huge track record of graduating uh, very productive, very uh, um, uh, well-to-do people in our society, uh, movers and shakers. Uh, another one um, that's uh, perhaps uh, on the scale of being well known. Um, in Jamaica and the region is Westwood High for girls. Westwood High is in Stewarttown um, in Trelawney and Westwood uh, is not too far from St. Hilda's um, also uh, but it's in Trelawney um, much closer to the Trelawney St. Anne border. Um, okay. um, 
those schools are not the only boarding school as I've said before but they are the ones that I feel comfortable um, with actually recommending uh, there's a, a more recent uh, school than most of those that we've just uh, mentioned which is a boarding school also doing very very good work and um, has a good reputation and that's Karen Hall uh, Vocational High School in St. Mary that um, school also uh, group in with the um, the other five I just mentioned even though that's a more recent school but I, I do I do recommend that uh, doing very very uh, good work also all right in my description box below uh, the video I will put numbers um, telephone numbers uh, if you wish to call um, that might be helpful uh, uh, for you all right I also want to mention, um, aside from the boarding school options, if you are, let's say, a dignitary working in Jamaica, let, let's say uh, an, a person working with a, a foreign service, like the U.S. Foreign Service or the British Foreign Service or uh, maybe the Canadian Foreign Service or uh, S Swedish Foreign Service, just an uh, uh, international um, uh, person working in Jamaica, and you wanted to send your kids to... Uh, uh, internationally rec uh, um, accredited school. Um, most schools in Jamaica are um, internationally accredited, but I mean uh, schools that are primarily considered international schools. Uh, there's a special category of schools in, in, in uh, most countries that are considered international schools. And um, those three schools are as follows. Uh, in Kingston, there's uh, one school um, Hillel, H-I-L-L-E-L, -L -L, maybe I'm mispronouncing it, the Hillel, uh, Hillel Academy, and that's in the Kingston 8 um, region of, uh, King <coughs> I'm sorry, of Kingston City. Um, there's another one uh, called the uh, American International School of Kingston. All right, that's, uh, uh, the acronym is A-I-S-K, and that's in the Kingston 6 area. Of, uh, of Kingston City. Uh, there's another one, a long-standing one, very, very long-standing international school. Lots of uh, international students have graduated from from there. It's in Manchester, uh, Mandeville, Manchester, and that's uh, Bel Air School. All right. Uh, now, most of those these schools um, will take you from elementary all the way up to high school. All right. Um, just want to give you a quick idea of what the cost will be like and this is not intended on being a definite price but it's a price range I've seen for uh, for most of uh, these schools the boarding schools that I mentioned earlier will run you somewhere uh, between I'll say uh, 250 to 300 thousand uh, Jamaican dollars if you're trying to um, calculate that in let's say US dollars um, that would be somewhere um, between, uh, I'd say, like uh, 2,200 uh, U.S. dollars, or if it's Canadian, it would be like uh, 2,600 Canadian, and uh, if it's British pound, it would be like about, say, 1,600 um, uh, uh, British pounds, okay? Um, for the international um, schools, uh, those, uh, the tuition um, runs, because they're private school, the tuition runs um, from somewhere between 180,000 Jamaican dollars to 300,000 Jamaican dollars. And, and again, a breakdown uh, in U.S. dollars would be somewhere between 1,100 U.S. dollars and 2,200 U.S. dollars. All right, and for Canadian, it would be somewhere between 1,300 to 2,600 uh, Canadian dollars. And uh, in British pound, it would be like 1,000 to about 1,600 um, uh, uh, British pound all right and that is those prices would be for like the international schools all right so there you have it those are the schools that I would actually uh, recommend and uh, again uh, this is not intended on being any um, any any advocate for what is best for your kids uh, this is just to give you good options um, I am a product of um, of uh, Jamaican schools and I know the standards uh, uh, to which we um, we teach. I just want to quickly mention that the Hillel Academy and the American International School of Kingston, those are two um, uh, U.S. Uh, 
uh, accredited schools and the Belair school is um, they, they teach pretty much uh, the British curriculum like uh, Jamaican all right the other school the boarding schools I mentioned are local Jamaican um, high schools and um, of course we teach the British um, uh, the British um, uh, curriculum all right so <clears throat> So there you have it, and um, thanks for joining. Today is a rainy day. I'm uh, actually on my back porch. Uh, you, you're probably able to hear the raindrops outside. Um, if you do, I hope it doesn't disturb you too much. But I, um, I am um, filming from my back porch uh, today. And thanks for watching. If you like what you heard, uh, please subscribe, uh, share my video, or like my video. Thanks for watching. This is Bob. And you're in tune to Wake Up and Live.